So this was in November 2012. Um, uh, patient was a 51-year-old man um, who was referred by his primary care physician to gastroenterology for a routine uh, screening colonoscopy. Uh, one thing that was noticed in the family history of the patient is that uh, uh, on his father's side, um, uh, there was a history of pancreas cancer and uh, a breast cancer in his aunt. Uh, so there was some family history of cancer. Colonoscopy was, uh, was performed and it revealed a three centimeter uh, mass uh, proximal to the hepatic flexure, so on the right side. Um, a biopsy of that lesion confirmed there was adenocarcinoma, uh, which is consistent with colon uh, primary. At the time, the patient underwent a right uh, hemicolectomy, which revealed a moderately differentiated tumor. Um, it was a T3 uh, tumor in terms of the uh, pathologic classification. About 15 lymph nodes were removed, and they were all um, cancer-free. Uh, so he, the patient was T3 and 0, and previous workup showed no evidence of metastatic disease. So the decision appropriately was not uh, uh, to proceed with any further adjuvant therapy, um, patient recovered really well after the surgery, and uh, went on doing well. The guidelines uh, for patients at low risk uh, to develop uh, colon cancer remain that first colonoscopy has to happen at age 50, and thereafter, depending on, again, the presence or absence of polyps that are high risk. Uh, then varied interval, but the next colonoscopy for most folks would be at 5 or 10 years. In fact, 10 years is very acceptable. That's for the colonoscopy. Uh, you know, the, the, it is also acceptable to have uh, a, a blood stool test plus, plus sigmoidoscopy or cologuard and other tests as potential alternatives for those who may not want to consider a colonoscopy. However, the gold standard in the, gold standard in the United States remains a colonoscopy at uh, age uh, 50 uh, for all patients with a low risk. Now, history of previous cancer uh, certainly raises a red flag, and that's something that needs to be discussed with the family physician. Now, clearly, a history of colon cancer or high-risk polyps uh, would warrant an earlier colonoscopy, depending on the age. So if the uh, patient's, let's say, father uh, had colon cancer at age 75 or a high-risk polyp, um, you know, the guidelines may remain the same, meaning at 50 you start your colonoscopy. However, if, let's say, uh, a father or a mother or, or a first-degree relative had their cancer at age 45, then the first colonoscopy had to be at, 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 no, no, uh, at an interval of 10 years or, or, or even uh, earlier. Uh, than the diagnosis, meaning at 35 or younger, for the first colonoscopy. So in this situation, in this particular patient, it's kind of difficult uh, to, uh, uh, you know, clearly uh, not understanding whether the family had some genetic screening, which most folks at that time did not have any form of genetic screening, um, whether that would have wanted an earlier colonoscopy. Uh, so the surgery was the appropriate surgery in this patient with a small tumor. A lymph node harvest is important. Uh, the guidelines uh, refer to at least 12 lymph nodes that have to be removed to do adequate staging. 10 to 12 lymph nodes, but conservative 12 nodes. This patient had 15 lymph nodes removed, so I think we can consider the staging appropriate. And, and why is this important? Uh, if we have more than 12 lymph nodes that are negative, that, that places the patient at a definite stage 2. And a stage 2 essentially does not, especially lower risk like this patient, does not warrant um, adjuvant chemotherapy. Um, if the lymph node harvest was lower than that, let's say 8 or 9 lymph nodes, then there will be a big question mark about the quality of the lymph node harvest. And by default, we give those patients the benefit of the doubt and would treat them with adjuvant therapy, and most of them unnecessarily. So it's very important, and I've seen this l happening less and less and less, thankfully to guidelines that have been very adamant about the lymph node harvest, 12 lymph nodes is a must for those patients.